The Molten Metal Moment with the Roadie. In 2016, I spoke to vocalist and bassist from New Wave British Heavy Metal Legends, Cloven Hoof, Lee Payne. Here he tells me a story about visiting Ozzy Osbourne. I've been to Ozzy Dance, you know, like before. And that was actually, yeah, I'll probably tell you about it then. <laughs> it's, it's, like this story. it's like in the, in the old days when, uh, you know, he's he kind of uh, got sort of dropped his list out of Sabbath. And he was really down. And uh, remember the guy I was telling you about, sort of Raymond Frogger, you know, like, uh, it was like our, uh, well, he sort of, uh, he had that, our first studio where we did our first demo. And uh, we, we helped get sort of David Emmons in session, in a, you know, like later on. He's like, like mates with Ozzy. And Ozzy rapped him up and he said, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, really sort of down and miserable. So he said, uh, well, I'll come up, come out, you know, like, and, uh, you know, you tell me all about it. And he said to me, he went to, I bet you'd like to come as well, wouldn't you? I went to, well, Ozzy, yeah, absolutely. So, so, so we, we went to his house and he's in a right state. You know, like, uh, basically, all, all he's got in his fridge is just like, you know, stacks of lager and, and under all else. So, uh, anyway, so he, 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 you know, he was just moaning about, like, the, 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 the what's his name, uh, John Arden, which is, uh, like, his dad. Uh, he said, uh, you know, I can't understand it, you know, like, it, I thought we'd gone on really, really well, you know, he even named his dog, I think. <laughs> It's about it, you know. Like, and, and he said, uh, you know, and what have I got? Just these stupid albums, you know, sort of dull records and everything on the wall. I went, you know what? I've never played one of these. And he, got, he, he picked, I think, you know, one of one for Paranoid or something. And, and he just stood over his neck. And he put it on. And you know what? It's just a record spray doll. Yes, spray doll. He seemed rubbish and he put it on and it was something like Frank Eyfield or something. God, no. <laughs> he went, it ain't even Black Sabbath. You know, like, he tried, and, and he just went round and he was tearing them off the wall, smashing them out of his nose. And he said, follow me. And he went out in the garden with all these records. <laughs> and he, and he went, into the, went into the chair and I went, you know, what, what, where, where's all this lady? And he came out with a shotgun and he tried, he went, throw it as high as you can. <laughs> and, and we were throwing it like clay pigeons and he was just taking a pot shot on him, you know and drunk out of his face and he's like, you know, it's getting dangerous, you know like he's shooting trees and people's houses and everything and in the end we sort of calmed him down and we went to, uh, you know, I, I think we should calm down really, you know we had, we had a few things I'm completely sober, I could drive my car down that country lane blindfold and, uh, and we went, no, nah, come on Ozzy and he goes, no, no, he said I can do it and he got in the car and he ripped his t-shirt up and he put it round his eyes so he couldn't see. And to be absolutely fair, as drunk as he was, he, he drove completely in a straight line. Except <laughs> for this battle that came out of a field and he hit his car and he knocked him down a ditch. And I was, oh shit, we've killed Ozzy. <laughs> but anyway, like the ambulance came and in the end he ended up flying through in hospital and uh, Froggy visited him next day, and instead of sort of moaning like, well, you didn't look after me very well or, or anything, all he said was, told you not to do it. Absolutely weak. But uh, yeah, that's nothing uh, for you. The Molten Metal Moment with the Roadie.